Hi guys! Good evening sa inyo lahat. Maraming maraming salamat sa pag-click ng video na ito. I really, really appreciate it. So without any further ado, let's get into the content. Welcome back sa isa na namang video pero this video is different. This is a PC building video. Also, this video is sponsored by Gigabyte. So, thank you so much sa Gigabyte Philippines and kay Sir Martin for this wonderful opportunity. I really, really appreciate it. Oh my God, I am so nervous. Okay, so this is my first time doing this. This is not my first time building a PC. Well, obviously. Pero this is my first time making a sponsored video. Taka ba? <laughs> Bakit ba ako nag english uh, So, excited ako. And at the same time, kinakabahan. So, without any further ado, let's get into the components first. This build nga pala is a full gigabyte Aorus high-end Intel build featuring the Intel i9-11900K. Speaking of 11900K, ipapakilala ko na sa inyo ang mga components na gagamitin natin for this build. Simulan natin sa CPU. Yes, we are going to use the newest processor from Intel, the i9-11900K. This is the most powerful desktop gaming processor ng Intel so far. This processor has a support of up to 20 PCIe 4.0 lane na shared across different components. X16 for PCIe, X4 for NVMe Gen 4 SSD. Holding this processor is walang iba kundi ang Gigabyte Z590 Aorus Extreme Motherboard. Ang motherboard na ito ay hindi lang nagsusupport ng 11th Gen Intel processors pero backwards compatible din ito sa 10th Gen Intel processors. Also, supported din nito ang RAID or yung redundant array of independent disks, specifically RAID 0, 1, 5, and RAID 10 for your files' added security. This is an EATX or Extended ATX Form Factor Motherboard. Meron itong tatlong PCIe slots, isang X16, X8, at X4. This motherboard also has three M.2 SSD slots or six SATA 3 slots for your storage needs. For the I.O. ports, meron itong dedicated clear CMOS button, dedicated Q-Flash button for your BIOS update, SMA antenna connectors for wireless fidelity or yung Wi-Fi, Dalawang Thunderbolt 4 connector USB Type-C interface, walong USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, isang HDMI port, 5 audio ports, LAN ports, or in short, this is a high-end motherboard. For the memory, supported nito ang up to DDR4 5400MHz overclocked or up to 3200MHz native speed. Since this motherboard only has 4 DIMM slots, this has a dual-channel memory architecture. Speaking of memory, next component natin is yung RAM. This is the Gigabyte Aorus RGB memory 16GB, 2x8GB module, 3200MHz speed with 16, 18, 18, 38 for the timings. And to top it off, this is the memory kit na merong included na dalawang dummy sticks para mapopulate ang lahat ng RAM slots sa motherboard natin. Pero take note guys, no? walang dagdag performance yung dummy sticks. Those are just for aesthetics purposes. For the CPU cooler naman, syempre hindi natin compromise ang thermals or ang temps ng 11900K natin. To cool down our CPU, gagamitin natin ang Aorus Waterforce X360 all-in-one cooler ng Gigabyte. For the storage, ang gagamitin natin walang iba kundi ang Aorus 7000S Gen 4 M.2 NVMe SSD. This is a 1TB storage. This is more than enough para sa frequently used applications such as games and editing softwares. Also, this is great for our boot drive since this storage has a max sequential read of up to 7000 megabytes per second and max sequential write of up to 5500 megabytes per second. This gaming build would not be complete without a graphics card. Since this is a high-end build, ang gagamitin natin walang iba kundi ang Gigabyte Aorus Extreme GeForce RTX 3080. This GPU has 10 GB GDDR6X of video memory or VRAM. Aorus RTX 3080 Extreme has a display out of up to 3 HDMI ports and up to 3 display ports. This video card has a boost clock of up to 1905 MHz and requires 3 8-pin PCIe power connector. Speaking of power, this build would not be complete without a source of power. <laughs> Obviously, powering up all of our components ay ang Gigabyte P1000GM 80 Plus Gold 1000 watts fully modular power supply. 
Okay, medyo nagti-trigger ang aking OCD dito kasi ito lang ang hindi orus sa lahat ng components dito. Pero okay lang naman since hindi naman makikita ng tao yung PSU. Last but definitely not the least is yung case. Hindi ko na maipapakita dito yan kasi <laughs> ang laki ng case eh. I am going to use the Gigabyte Aorus C700 Glass. Nothing much to say other than this case is so big. And also kasi this is my first time using this case kaya wala akong masasabi. <laughs> So, to complete the setup, Gigabyte Philippines and Sir Martin also provided a set of peripherals. The Aorus K9 keyboard na merong red switch, Aorus M2 gaming mouse, Aorus P7 gaming mouse mat. Apparently, this mouse mat or mouse pad is RGB. Alam ko na yung mga mouse pad no, na merong RGB lighting, pero this is my first time seeing one in person. So, uh, excited ako dito. Gusto ko itong makita. Next is the Aorus FI27Q-P monitor. 1440p 144Hz IPS display. Honestly, this monitor, di ko na nilagay dito kasi malaki yun. <laughs> Pero honestly, this monitor is not enough para sa 3080. Kasi ang 3080 ay ginawa or designed para sa 4K gaming. Ay yung monitor only has 1440p. Pero may kita natin yung mamaya. That is it guys para sa mga components. Take note guys, no, halos lahat ng components dito ay RGB Fusion 2.0 compatible. Ayan ang software ng Gigabyte para sa pag-sync ng mga RGB lightings and to customize or personalize your peripherals according to your gaming needs. Now, without any further ado, ibibuild ko na to. <laughs> Let's go!
And now guys, the build is done. Ang total nga pala ng build na to is about 280,000 pesos or almost 300,000 pesos. For the build experience guys, no, honestly, it's kind of hard. Sa totoo lang, kasi iba ito sa mga nahawakan kong case dati. Kasi usually, do sa mga nahawakan kong case dati, is flat lang yung design. No, straight, flat. Ito kasi guys, bulky siya, no, malaki. Tapos iba-iba yung orientation niya. For example na lang, dito sa taas, paslant siya. Tapos sa loob, kung minsan may kita nyo sa B-roll, mukha siyang hindi pantay. Actually kasi guys, hindi talaga pantay yung nasa loob. Medyo nakatilt siya. Also guys, this is just my second time building a PC na merong AIO or yung all-in-one liquid cooler. And this is my first time using an AIO sa Intel build. Also guys, kung nagustuhan nyo na yung video so far, please hit the like button and follow me sa iba ko pang social media pages, sa Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Lahat ng links is nasa description down below. Kasi nagpo-post ako doon ng mga updates na hindi ko pinapost dito sa YouTube channel ko. And also, kung gusto nyo naman ang gato klase ng content, kung nage-enjoy na kayo, please consider subscribing sa channel ko with notification bell on para sa next time na mag upload ako ng ganitong klaseng video, ma-notify kayo and updated kayo. So, uh, let's go back sa content. Speaking of AIO guys, no, gusto ko lang i-mention na yung AIO neto is maganda kasi guys, pwede mong palitan yung naka-display doon sa screen. Pinalitan ko lang naman ito ng CTX kasi, well, that's my brand. And also guys, ang cool din ng GPU neto kasi yung screen doon, napapalitan din. Nga pala guys, medyo nagkaroon ng clearance issue sa pagitan ng AIO and ng RAM. Kung mapapansin nyo, nasa kaliwa ang tube ng AIO nito at wala sa usual right side. Tumatama kasi yung tube ng AIO sa RAM kaya hindi pwedeng ipilit. Dagdag ko pa guys, no, medyo nalito lang ako kasi nung first time ko itong binut or inopen, walang ilaw yung LED nito at yung mga fans. Akala ko meron akong mali no, doon sa connection sa cables, doon sa likod. Pero actually, kailangan lang palang installan to muna ng software. Once may install ng software and maset up nyo ang mga kailangan, well, ayun na, okay na yun. All in all guys, for the build experience, masasabi ko smooth lang siya. Yes, nagkaroon ako ng bumps, konting hiccups here and there, pero in general, ayos lang, walang problema. Also guys, I took my time benchmarking this guy. I played Valorant for the gaming benchmark. Also, I ran the 3D Far Strike and yung Heaven, yung Unigen Heaven para sa GPU benchmark. For the CPU benchmark naman guys, ginamit ko yung Blender BMW and Cinebench. So, for the result of the benchmark, if a flash ko dyan sa screen nyo right now. So for the conclusion guys, no, katulad ng aking inaasahan, this build gives you a premium experience for both gaming and productivity. Well, given the fact that this is a high-end build, when it comes to aesthetics and performance, this is definitely on the top. Intel Core i9-11900K is the highest and most latest processor from Intel for desktop computers so far. It delivers a premium and high-quality performance when it comes to gaming and productivity, paired with an RTX 3080 for gaming to complete the build. Yes guys, meron tayong 3090 or yung latest ngayon na 3080 Ti pero still, RTX 3080 is a great choice if you want higher frames sa laro nyo or if you want to transition from 1080p gaming to 1440p or even 4K gaming. And that is it for the video guys. I hope nagustuhan nyo yung video ko and I hope kahit paano nag-enjoy kayo. Also guys, sana nabigyan ko kayo ng idea kung paano ba mag-perform or what to expect sa mga high-end builds. Although, alam kong alam nyo na yan kasi hindi lang naman ako yung gumagawa ng ganito klase ng video and alam ko naman na hindi lang ako pinapanood nyo. Pero ganun pa man. <laughs> Multi! <laughs> maraming maraming salamat sa inyo guys sa panonood ng video ko. And once again, maraming maraming salamat sa Oros Philippines for sponsoring this video and also maraming maraming salamat kay Sir Martin na nag-deliver nito sa bahay and siya rin yung kukuha next time. <laughs> As usual guys, no, kung nagustuhan nyo yung video, hit the like button and kung hindi nyo naman nagustuhan, kayo na bahala. It's a free country, you can do whatever you want. 
Also guys, comment kayo sa comment section down below. Let me know kung meron kayong ganitong ka-high-end na build. Anong games or anong gagawin nyo dito? Gagamitin nyo ba siya for productivity for gaming? If for gaming, anong games ang lalaroin nyo? Or for productivity naman, ano bang gagawin nyo? Mag-edit kayo ng video? Mag-edit kayo ng photo? Definitely, let me know sa comment section down below kasi gusto kong malaman. Also guys, subscribe kayo din sa channel kasi napakarami pang tech-related videos as well as unboxing, review, PC building videos coming up very very soon. Once again, my name is CJ and magkita-kita tayo sa susunod kong video.